What's good, YouTube? Your boy Sky Jordan here, and today we are recording on an iPhone 11. All right, you can do this with any iPhone. So, what you're gonna need to record with this, you know what I'm saying? You might need these bad babies right here, right? Probably gonna need some of these. I know you got some of these, right? And you might need some of these, you know what I'm saying? And you need this little white piece right here, you know, you like plug that in. You might need some of these, Oops. but you need GarageBand and you need to go and download AutoTune Mobile, which is in the App Store, right? AutoTune Mobile is $5, but I'm finna go over this, you know, and we finna see, we finna get it cracking. So on the screen, what you see is the monitor. You want to turn it off and on. So if you want to hit yourself, you want to turn it on all right cool this is this controls like the input right so this is just the tone if you got auto tune mobile you don't have to worry about the pitch control you can just focus on the compressor the compressor is the signal it's boosting the signal or you turn it oh you don't want that or you can turn it down where you don't really need it but like you turn up a little bit this vocal hall it's the reverb reverb all right so look man, I'm finna show you how you put the beat in. Alright, so you wanna go here and then like you wanna click on your beat track or whatever, then you wanna go up here. You wanna go like it's gonna give you like Apple Lose files, music, you wanna go like browse, items from the files out, find the file, and drag and drop. So like this is the beat. So we're gonna click on it. Oh, it didn't do right. So we're gonna click on the beat, make sure you hold it, drag and drop. And in this beat right here, he labeled the key and the tempo. So you wanna change the tempo, you wanna go in and put it in there, you can change the key if you want to. It's like L sharp minor, boom, it's set. And then we just go down to audio track again, we just click back on the audio. And like, if you wanna activate the tone, this is what it looks like when it, like, but when it's default, you just want to go up and match the scale. It's basically the EFX 3 2 EFX plugin. It's right here, but it's just for your iPhone. All right. So here we go. So if we want to adjust any settings, like you want to click on that icon there, and then we can go in if we want to pan it to the right or the left, you know, so it's like that. So. If you want to boost the compressor, turn it down. You want to add a treble, you want to bring some of that down, you want to take some of that bass out, you know, you can do all that right here. And then if you want to like bypass like the master effects, you can change the delay. Yeah, you can add delay. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pull up before you. I pull up before. Yeah. So like, so we go. So now we got that in, and all we gonna do now is just record. And it depends on like the best way to hold it. it depends on what you record with. So if you got AirPods in, you know what I'm saying. Like it depends on how loud you gonna be, or like what you're doing. Like you don't wanna like get too close because it's gonna like distort your vocals and it's not gonna sound good all right so we're gonna turn the echo down just a little bit we don't need all that so i'm gonna experiment i'm gonna record with it like up close in the middle i'm gonna record at the top i'm gonna record be behind it sounds nuts don't do this don't do this at all i promise you all right so here we go let's just record and um let's see what we got man Let's see what we'll turn that compressor down some. So let's get it. Dun, dun, dun. Do you love me for me? Or do you love me for the racks? Do you love me for me? Do you love me for the racks? Excuse me. Let's see. Do you love me for me? Or do you love me for the racks? Do you love me for me? Or do you love me for the racks? I want to know. I wanna know, I wanna know Do you love me for me? Do you love me for the Rex? Do you love me for me? Do you love me for the Rex? Do you love me for me? Or do you love me for the Rex? Rex, Rex I just love me for the Rex 
Thanks, I wanna know. I wanna know, I wanna know. Do you love me, me? Do you love me for the Rex? Do you love me, me? Do you love me for the Rex? Do you love me for me? Or do you love me for the Rex? Rex? All right, and as you can see, if you want to make adjustments to the EQ or anything, you want to hit this, this little button up here, and it's going to give you the track settings or whatever. So you want to go down to plugins and EQ, and you just click on the ones that go down, and you can make adjustments, and you can turn them off and on. All right, same thing, you go back, you can go to master effects, and you can mess with the reverb. So if you want to change the reverb there, you change it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you want to change the echo, which is the delay. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's how you change those. And then you can change the bass to treble. Is that make it higher? You take it out, you know, like this and that. And that's how you can change, like, some little quick EQs. But look, man. That's how you can record vocals anywhere with your iPhone. You just need some headphones. Again, these two. Like these, you can use these. Look at these ones. These ones. <laughs> but let me make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And if you got an iPhone and $5, get the AutoTune Mobile and try this out, man, because it's worth it. Trust me, bro. Trust me. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in another video, all right?